Welcome to the North Shore of Lake Superior and welcome to the 10th annual Swenson Family Holiday Video. It's a cold and beautiful day here along the rocky shores of Gitchigami. We just finished a winter hike along the icy rivers and frozen falls of northern Minnesota. After a long walk through the North Woods, there's nothing better than sitting next to a crackling campfire, drinking a hot cup of coffee, and listening to the crashing waves of Lake Superior. This time of year, Minnesota's great outdoors are a winter wonderland draped in white. You can just feel the joy of the holiday season all around us. Today we wanted to bring some of that joy to you and yours and wish you the very best for a happy holiday season. Each year brings with it so many blessings. And this time of year when we gather together with friends and family to celebrate the holidays, we often reflect on the year behind us and consider the days ahead. 2018 was a year of many blessings for our family. It was another great year for mom and dad. This year they celebrated 44 years of marriage and they are as much in love today as they were 44 years ago. In August, mom, dad and I drove out west to visit Aunt Shirley in Montana and to share our remembrances of Uncle Tom who passed away suddenly this summer. It was good to catch up with Aunt Shirley, recall memories of Uncle Tom and take in the beauties of the Big Sky State he loved so much. While we were out west, Dad and I tried our hands at fly fishing in the crystal clear streams of Yellowstone National Park. It was a trip full of laughter, one great catch, and many wondrous thrills of nature that we will not soon forget. Throughout the summer, Dad and I spent time fishing, hiking, canoeing, and just enjoying the great outdoors together. This year, Mom hung up the keys to the forklift and closed the chapter on more than 30 years in the grocery business. She and Dad are thoroughly enjoying their retirements. Most of all, they are enjoying spending time together and being top-notch grandparents to Robbie and little Johnny. Of course, Mom and I resumed our annual tradition of making Lefsa this Christmas, a favorite pastime that now includes a new Lefsa assistant. No one could ask for better parents. They are not only my mom and dad, they are two of my very best friends. My sister Katie and brother-in-law Rob had a heck of a year. This year they celebrated 11 years of marriage. Their growing family keeps them busy every day of the week. This year Rob continued his work at Cyber Optics in St. Louis Park, where he was recently promoted to serve as a senior applied physicist. In his free time, Rob enjoyed riding one of his four bikes and cross-country skiing in the parks and forested trails of Minnesota's great outdoors. This summer, we cheered on Rob again in another intense mountain bike race through the Superior National Forest. Most of all, Rob spent the year being an all-around great dad to Robbie and little Johnny. Katie continued her work this year as a clinical social worker at Regions Hospital in St. Paul. In her spare time, Katie baked up a storm with mom, spent time with friends and colleagues, advocated for gun safety measures to better protect children in our schools, and ran the Twin Cities Marathon this fall, completing her second marathon with a smile on her face. But Katie's full-time job and her and Rob's full-time attention is on taking care of Robbie and little Johnny, bringing them love, laughs, and adventures every day of the week. This spring, Johnny celebrated his first birthday with a huge puppy-themed birthday bash. 
Johnny is a perpetual bundle of joy, one of the happiest little guys you've ever seen, and a source of love and laughter in all of our lives. Right now, Johnny spends his days smiling, waving, walking, and talking. Johnny started music class this fall and loves waving at school buses. We can't wait to see the man he grows up to be. His big brother Robbie is thrilled to have little Johnny around. Robbie continued preschool this year and even got started early on Chinese immersion pre-K classes. From fishing to bouncing to biking, shoveling and parties and play dates all over the neighborhood, Robbie has a full social calendar. We are so proud of our little guy and the bright and caring young man he is growing up to be. Bodie's still living the dream. As for me, 2018 was a great year. This year I continued my work as Deputy Chief of Staff and Director of Communications for Governor Mark Dayton. During these last six years in the Governor's office, it has been a tremendous honor to lend my efforts to the cause of building an even better Minnesota. I am proud to have served with Governor Dayton and my many outstanding colleagues. Now, after 12 years at the State Capitol, my service in the Governor's office will conclude with the end of Governor Dayton's term in January. But new adventures await and I'm excited to take on a new role with Cargill next month. In my spare time this year, I spend as much time as possible with my friends, my family, and little Robbie and Johnny. I camped in our state's beautiful state parks, and fished in the bubbling streams of southeastern Minnesota and in lakes and rivers across our state. And this year I actually caught a few fish. One of the best parts of this year was another special catch, spending time with my girlfriend, Sarah Thatcher. From camping to hiking to paddling and traveling, Sarah has brought so much joy to my life. This year we walked and biked the beaches of Cape Cod, visited the homes and histories of former presidents, explored the streets of New York City, went fishing in weather of every kind, hiked the peaks and valleys of the arid Southwest, and explored the icy landscapes of Northern Minnesota. When she wasn't working as a public relations pro at Goff Public in St. Paul, Sarah was spending time with her family and her three adorable nephews, Dominic, Peter, and Joseph, hanging out with friends, enjoying time at book club, and running. Did I mention running? In fact, she ran two marathons and over 1,500 miles training. I watched and took photos. This fall, I got down on one knee and proposed to Sarah under the waterfall of a Minnesota state park. She said yes. We are thrilled to be engaged to be married and looking forward to our wedding this coming May. I can't wait to see what life holds in store for both of us in the years ahead. Another person I know would be thrilled about our engagement is my Grandpa Swenson, who we lost this September at age 89. I am so glad Grandpa got to know Sarah during this last year. We miss you, Grandpa. We love you. And we know you are in a better place, where the fish are always biting, and the good Lord is always at the ready with a landing net in hand. This year was filled with many great joys and deep sorrows, with momentous conclusions and new beginnings. Looking back on 2018, most of all, I enjoyed spending time with all of you, my friends, my family, and my colleagues. Thank you all, everyone, for the many blessings you have brought to my life this year and for the many great experiences that still await us in the year to come. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy New Year to you and yours this holiday season. May you find joy and peace in this season of hope. We'll leave you now, as we have so many times before, with the words of the old Swedish blessing. May the ruts always fit the wheels on your pickup. May your earmuffs always keep out the north wind. May the sun shine varm on your left, sir. May the rain fall soft on your lutefisk. And until we meet again, may the good Lord protect you from any and all unnecessary oofdas. Yeah.